Uh, but last time I got up here, I didn't get a chance to say it. Our, our home atmosphere has been absolutely incredible. Our fans, our students, every single person that's been coming out to games, um, we have had a home field advantage um, in every game that we've played here, and we need it again this coming Tuesday. I believe it's two days before Halloween. I can imagine student-wise that could be a really good um, opportunity to uh, showcase your uh, pre-Halloween outfit. Um, we'll, get, we'll get people dressed up, um, but man, to have, uh, to have an opponent like, uh, like Lafayette coming in um, on a Tuesday, two days before Halloween, in the situation, you couldn't ask for anything more. Nationally televised game, two great teams, um, but our, our fans and our students have been absolutely incredible. We need you one more time. You know, after they came back on, back from the plane, just coming in here on Sunday, just where, where are the general vibes of the team as they try to prepare for Louisiana? Yeah, uh, uh, two things, and I'm teasing you, and you know this, but uh, yeah, all losses are tough. Doesn't matter if they're by uh, 50 or by by one. Um, I, I think our kids are hungry. Um, I think our kids are. Um, obviously disappointed right I mean we went out there and we didn't get the job done I don't care how else you look at it the, the there was a task to be handled and we didn't get the job done give them a ton of credit oh do you played a great game um, I, I coached with uh, their offensive coordinator in the past um, give them all the credit in the world they played a really good football game and they beat us um, and we didn't get our job done so our kids are um, were, were disappointed but then you come in, you, you, you find out what you need to do better, you see what you did well, right? And you, you harness that, and you gotta do that again, and then you gotta get the things corrected to be able to go out there and, and accomplish what we need to accomplish. So um, it is Tuesday, we're able to put that behind us. It's kind of the 24 hour rule, make the corrections and move on, and we're, we're on to the next one. You know, Mason Shibley obviously had like a pretty rough day on Saturday. Just what did you kind of go, when you look back over the game film, and just kind of go over him on those field goal attempts, what did you see? I guess what what adjustments are you trying to make with him, or or are there any adjustments? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, yeah, you you can watch um, you can watch film throughout college, NFL, and you see things like that. And yeah, that that's obviously not what we're trying to accomplish, right? The job is simple: it's to put the ball through the uprights, and we didn't get that job done. So, um, what you go about doing is right is is the process. How you do it, you just do it better. Uh, Mason Shibley is a really good kicker, and we have the utmost confidence in him and his ability to go out there and make kicks, and he will continue to do that. Um, but obviously, we didn't get that done Saturday, and that was a that was a big piece in the game um, from a momentum standpoint and how how we were moving the ball. You got to be able to come away with points, and you got to be able to flip the field, and we didn't get that job done. So um, he is a he is an incredible competitor. Um, he knows it. Um, but yeah, there, there's some things that you always look to fine tune and clean up. Um, and, and we did that today in practice. Coach, your thoughts on playing a Tuesday game? Obviously, it's a little bit unique. Uh, have you ever been a part of a Tuesday game before? How do you feel about it? Yeah, two, the, I think in 21 years, I think this is my first Tuesday. Um, I, I think it's great. We get, a longer, we get longer time to prepare. Um, we get our kids to be healthier, more time for film, more time for school, more time to, to focus, um, and then – I feel like we're the only game on. I'm not sure if there's another one, but we're, we're going to be the best game on. Um, but, yeah, I mean, a nationally televised game at our place against a, a awesome opponent in Lafayette, I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, so I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I can't wait. Um, had a great day today. All we can worry about is today. We had an awesome day of preparation today. We'll hop on the film right after this and have another great day of preparation. But, um, Man, that's, that's kind of what college football is all about. I know when we opened up on Thursday against Troy, I believe it was 55 straight days of, of football. That includes the NFL on Sundays and the NFL on Mondays. But Tuesday through Saturday then is college. And we get to be a part of that on the national stage um, to showcase our brand and our talents and our abilities. And I know our kids are, our kids are fired up and we'll be ready when the time comes. Uh, as you look at this Louisiana team in particular, you know, Coach Kenny was talking a, a, a lot about how they've been kind of the, the bullies of the Sun Belt Conference, so to speak. Yep. Uh, j just how significant is this particular game, you know, on a, on a, a number for, for a number of reasons? Yeah, I mean, I think um, obviously they all they all count the same. I mean, we get that. We're going to have all the coach talk and all that good stuff. But, we, I mean, we got our backs against the wall. We're playing against the team who currently doesn't have a loss in conference. Um, every game moving forward here is a Western Division game for us except one. Um, but obviously the, the one ahead of us, but th this is a massive game. It's, mm -hmm. it's, two, it's two teams that are vying for a spot in the West. And um, 
they they're they're looking at it the exact same way. It's the next it's the biggest game cuz it's the next one and all those good things. But yeah, I mean when you step back and look at it, you got two big time uh two big time teams playing on a Tuesday night that has um, some serious Western Division ramifications one way or the other. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely huge. And every one of them in the every one of them moving forward is, but this one's massive because it's next and the things that come after that um, the teams that handle their business, each game becomes more and more impactful because they're handling it correctly. Um, so for us, we have everything in front of us that we want. It's time to go out there and do it um, against these guys and a great opponent. Um, man, they're playing well. They're playing um, physical, tough, darn good football. Um, Coach Desmo, I, I actually, small world, I was at Monroe. I played Monroe, then coached at Monroe. We recruited him to come there, ended up going to Lafayette. Um, it had an excellent career, obviously has come back. Um, man, the guy, the guy, the guy bleeds that school. I mean, he is, um, he is, he's done an incredible job, uh, there and he's doing it again this year. Um, they play physical style of football and, uh, and they're doing, they're doing really well. And we're excited about the opportunity. Obviously we got to focus on ourselves, right. And play clean and play our style of football. Um, and, and that's what we're preparing for right now. There's a lot of talk about how strong the leadership is with this team. You know, how much do you have to rely upon that when you're ready for a game like this? And also coming off the, the kind of loss that you had this past Saturday, just how important is that leadership? Yeah, it's vital. I mean, it's vital to, to any team, any sport that you're doing. I mean, you guys go do media with the volleyball next or whoever it'll be. Like leadership is in the locker room is what carries teams. It, what, it's what separates a good team from a great team and a great team from a championship team. So, um, yeah, we're heavily relying on our, on our leadership right now to, to help continue to press things in the right direction um, so that we're, we're coming out ready to go on Tuesday.